This is Introduction to Modern Algebra by Lewis M. Wiener. And it's a hardcover. And the publisher is Harcourt Brayson World. Yeah, let's open it up. Uh, there's a name and phone number on the inside, so I'm going to uh, not show that. I, I don't know who those people are. There's different people's names. Introduction to Modern Algebra. Although this book is really old, the number probably doesn't work. I mean, this book is from 1970, Introduction to Modern Algebra. Wow, I'm going to give this a whiff. Oh, it smells so good. To June, Howard, and Joel. Wonderful, wonderful. Let's take a look here. Preface. The primary purpose of this book is to present the introductory concepts of modern algebra. It is intended for the undergraduate student with a background in basic mathematics. It approaches abstract algebraic systems through the familiar systems of natural numbers, integers, rational numbers, and real numbers. Cool. All right, let's take a look further. Here are the contents. Starts with some preliminaries, and then it goes to the integers. And we have the real number system. Groups. Then we have rings. Fields. Vectors and matrices. Systems of equations and polynomial equations. A bibliography and an index. So I don't think this is going to have any um, solutions uh, in the back of the book. Oh, I just, I'm sorry. I have to just, I have to just smell it. It's just, oh, oh, this is just incredible. This is, oh, wow, wow, wow. This is a reason to collect math books. Sometimes you find a book that just has like this incredible scent. Here it talks about what is modern algebra about? Axioms and theorems. Methods of proof. This is useful. got nice thick pages and then here's objects and sets so here like it just talks about different sets uh, basic things about set theory it's really important for group theory yeah it's just a solid textbook um, it doesn't have answers to the exercises which is very unfortunate uh, but at least you have a solid book that you can read. Yeah, Piano's Postulates. This is the, this is often not in books. Not a lot of books actually contain this. Wow, look at this. Someone was really working hard here on um, cyclic, cyclic groups. Theorem 4.6 is an important one. Let's read this together. It says, if G is a cyclic group and H is a subgroup of G, then H is a cyclic group. That's true, right? So that's that's a big deal. So every subgroup uh, of a cyclic group is uh, also cyclic. So that's uh, very, very uh, key and important to know. So yeah, pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Isomorphism and automorphism. A lot of good mathematic math mathematics here. Homomorphisms and normal subgroups. Hmm. Yeah, you could you could use this book uh, for self study. It would be tough though because you don't have uh, answers in the back. But I just wanted to show you this book. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, abstract algebra is a cool subject. I actually have an abstract algebra course uh, on Udemy. But if you get it, uh, use the links from my website, mathsorcerer.com. And yeah, subscribe if you want. I'll, I'll, I'll look for this book, and if I can find it, I'll, I'll leave a link in the description. I don't know if it's like easy to find or hard to find. I haven't looked, but yeah. Take care.